You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. So in Uganda, they're talking about passing laws to kill people who are gay. In the United States, there's, well, we still have no movement from the Obama administration on DOMA and and, and whatnot. But uh, even beyond that, on the right, there's a a major right-wing smear campaign going on against Kevin Jennings in the Obama administration. Robert Knight is with the American Civil Rights Union, ACRU, the conservative uh, the parallel universe of the ACLU, and uh, Robert Knight is a senior fellow at the ACRU, journalist for 15 years, including seven as an editor and writer at the Los Angeles Times. The T H E A C R U dot org is their website. And uh, Robert, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks uh, for having me on, Tom. What's the real goal of the Hate the Gays movement in the United States? What are you guys really trying to accomplish? Well, first. I don't know who you're talking about unless it's Fred Phelps who says God hates gays. Well, he's just or whatever. yeah, you poor know, Fred. He's he's, he, he's not a legitimate. He's working on. A, he's actually though. working on a typo. I don't know if you. It, 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 this is and somebody ought to tell him. Um, it, th- th- twice in the New Testament, Jesus withered fig trees. Isaiah withered a fig tree, and there's another place in the Old Testament. I think it's in Psalms where a fig tree was withered. God hates figs, not fags. And yeah, but I, if I were you, I wouldn't be quoting Scripture on this issue, because it's pretty darn clear in the Old and New Testaments that God uh, would prefer us to have sex within marriage, not outside it in any form, including between two men or two women. You have to tie Scripture into a pretzel to get uh, a biblical reading that, hey, it's fine, it's healthy, it's normal. Yeah, I mean, well, it's that, also clear in Scripture that, that when my children talk back to me, I should put them to death. Well, you're talking about the Old Testament scriptures. So are you? Of course, the new. T- yeah, well, some of them, yes, but the more look, the penalties have changed over the years, and you know that from reading the Old Testament. That uh, okay, well, let's we take something that's pure New death, Testament. In the New we? Testament, Paul explicitly says that women should obey their husbands; they should be silent in church; they should cover their heads. Should we pass laws saying that women must must be silent in public? He's, tra- he's talking to the church. He's not talking to the uh, public sector. You know, the the, the Jewish law has. Three so aspects. you're saying the in the New Testament. The ceremonial and the moral. So you're saying the moral that any law has never changed, although the civil and ceremonial have changed quite a bit. Well, maybe maybe then, Robert Knight, we've hit a perfect point of agreement. I'm perfectly willing to say that you and your church can have the right to say that you're not going to marry gay couples, and and in fact, you're even going to hang a sign in front of the door that says, you know, gay's not welcome here. If you will give me the right in our sectarian civil society to say that we're not going to pass laws that would forbid gays from getting married, and we're not going to persecute or prosecute or, or harass gays in, in civil society. You're welcome to do it inside your church. Look, defining marriage as the union of a man and a woman is not persecuting, persecuting gays any more than it's persecuting polygamous couples or men who want to marry trees. It's just defining what a marriage really is. And for you to say, well, it won't affect anybody, just do it inside your church. You know, tell businesses uh, run by Christians and Jews who are devout and don't want to aid and abet something they say God says is wrong. How about the Boy Scouts who are getting kicked out of public uh, institutions because they don't have gay scoutmasters? I mean, uh, by the way, Tom, because I they will I was expel talk gays. About Kevin Jennings, the uh, safe school. Well, let's star. let's let's in fact. Well, let's... Why don't we talk about Kevin? Because you said it's a smear campaign. And yeah, I, I did. I, I for did. For it to be a smear, it has to be untrue. So why don't we look at what he's been doing at Glisten for the last few years? All righty. Uh, first of all, let me make it very clear that people being in love and being married, whether they're straight or gay, is a whole different thing than people having sex with animals or trees. And 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 you know, I just for the record want to, you know, but it's not marriage. Push back on In that, any case, Robert, it's not marriage. Sure two it men is. having sex together is not a union of a man and a P- woman. Two men being married for the rest of their lives. Okay? You know, most people understand this. Even even people in Oregon understand this. They passed a law defining marriage as the union of a man and a woman. Yeah, so and you're the one who's far out. You know, uh, no, Robert. Uh, up until 19, up until the 1950s in the United States, we had laws that said marriage was the de- was defined as a person, well, a man and a woman of the right? same yeah. race. Yeah. Yeah, that was. It's in the Bible. That was one aberration. But it's in the Bible. It's always been the union of the two sexes. It's it's the same. Okay. You've got to be of the same religion in the Bible. If you're having a a wedding, a Jewish wedding, you ought to both be Jewish. Sure. What's wrong with that? 
But we're talking about the civil law, okay? okay. I would agree with you up to a point that the civil law is not the You're same s- as religious okay, law. Okay, so you want to get you want to get to your you, you, you want to get to the values of people who pass the civil right. law. Okay, I get it. You you want to okay. get you want to get to the to the smear against Kevin Jennings, and, and you're right, you were booked it's on that. So let's get smear. right to it. Um, why is it not a smear to for for uh, the uh, accuracy in media to first report? That Kevin Jennings is uh, is up to passing out uh, to uh, uh, literature promoting gay bars to teenagers, and then to come back and say, "Oops, we were wrong," uh, and and, uh, and and apologize. Actually, you're talking about the little black book that was passed out at a Glisten conference. It wasn't Glisten itself who passed it out. They merely provided the forum at which this book was available. And the book does have a list of gay bars and what's available there. No, I actually oh, have the little worse. black book here, and it doesn't have a list of gay that was That was a separate... Oh, no, no, no. That's on the little black book. I mean, go to massresistance.com, oh. folks. Look at it for okay, yourself, right. and you will be shocked right. by what you see. Yeah, okay. It is, it is a... You'll see obscene language, pornographic imagery, all aimed at kids. What, what you will see is a description of... Of what sexually transmitted diseases are, what various sexual practices are, and how yeah, they are associated with practices. various. You want to describe some of those, Tom, on yeah, the air? But you can't. I, <laughs> they're so obscene, you cannot they, tell your listeners about them. They, and yet they were they're handed out to kids. So you're you're suggesting that teenagers should not get sex education. I don't think they should be told how to urinate on each other, no. And that's what this booklet tells you how to do safely. No. And that's just one of the milder things they tell the kids. Folks, don't so, take it from me. Go to massresistance.com and look for yourself. The booklet's right there. Robert... But I warn you, it's very graphic. It, it is. And and I think that sex education needs to be graphic. Would you object to... Oh, come on. <laughs> there being, I'm assuming then that you object to there being any kind of straight sex education for our kids as well. I think when you have sex education, you should tell kids the truth that the... Uh, you don't things, describe sexual activity. You describe it, but you also realistically describe the risks involved. You know, it's not for nothing. We have millions do you, of cases do of... You, do you think, Robert, that, 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 that married men and women with. ever have anal sex? Oh, I'm sure some do, but... It's so why not dangerous. describe not what dangers you. could be associated with that for married men and women in your sex ed liter- literature? I, I'd say they should warn of the dangers of anal sex for anyone. They, the body's not made for that kind of abuse. That's what this brochure is doing that you're worsened, so hysterical it's, about. It's worsened in the gay community because there's so much promiscuity. You know, it's bad enough there, if you have two people doing there, it, but if you do it... There is every bit as much years, promiscuity in the straight community, Robert, as there no, is in the no, gay community. And, and you know better than that. You know, you I, know I, the gay I, lifestyle is quite different the gay from lifestyle. What, what men and women do. It, the, the, it, several of the gays that I know are married and monogamous, Robert. There, there, several of the gays that I know are married and monogamous. I, I, you know, I, well, as this, far as you know, but and, uh, you know, and, really and I know of, between, and I know, and I'm sure that you know of straight people who are very promiscuous. Why? Well, I, here's what I just don't get. I don't get. That doesn't disprove the rule. I don't okay? get. I, d- I really general, don't get what you're what you're so afraid of, Robert. Why is it that that you are so fearful of these people? Is it that you is it that you have you know some gay feelings yourself or something? Well, that's the usual charge that pro-gay people do. They try to smear people who oppose their agenda by suggesting that you yourself are tempted. It's well, I'm that. wondering why somebody would commit their lives to trying to trash gay people when they're not gay. Well, I don't trash gay people. I'm talking about behavior. And with 300,000-plus men dead in this country of AIDS, I would think you'd show a little more compassion and maybe shine a light well, on... Well, that's, why this, that's why this brochure practices. is being passed out, Robert, is so the teenagers won't make this, the kind of sexual mistakes in their behavior with others that would lead to HIV. That's the whole point like, of it. Like telling them to go ahead as long as they use condoms. And that's terrible advice, and, and the U.S. Department... Uh, the NIH says that's bad advice. Anal right. sex is bad regardless. Just say no. I would say save it for marriage. Okay. The ACRU.org, the website, Robert Knight. Uh, Robert, thanks for dropping by. <laughs> okay, Tom. See you. Yep, 15 minutes past the hour.